Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It will be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We want to bring others with us. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video, tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the situation. We got Duchess jumping down from Black Ink. And she got something to say, too, as well. Miss Kitty got something to say and also we're talking about donna lombardi and young bay and tatty and ryan henry and c's so let's just get into it let's talk about duchess first because duchess she's been doing her own thing but duchess was asked a question on her instagram while she was minding her own business someone asked her would she return back to black ink crew did she see what's going on with miss kitty duchess responded was like you guys done got me messed up did you see how c's dumped me and berated me and disrespected me for years since i've been gone from the damn show y'all better get it together you think i'm gonna let my blessings walk away from me by going back on that show are you kidding me she was like y'all gotta stop with this expecting people to be treated for some entertainment shit so basically you know duchess was like you know it's whatever it's whatever miss kitty i understand what you're going through but i went through the same thing so we're not saying duchess is perfect but she done went through the same thing too as well you know after you know breaking up with c's and how that whole situation went down and she ain't coming back she ain't looking back because she ain't trying to turn to a pillar of salt so she's staying focused baby it is what it is c's and black ink is behind her she ain't trying to get with it no more she is doing her own thing and also we got miss kitty basically she's talking about the situation that she's going through and you know she's addressing you know the last episode where we had you know tatty and you know we had tatty we had young bay and you know donna basically talking about miss kitty saying that she said that ryan had a small penis and tatty was like yes that's how i know she slept with ryan and then all saying yeah we know how she slept with ryan because she told us because he had a little small teeny teeny winny winny itty bitty little little short short black eyed pea so but remember you know tatty said you know, the last time we seen Miss Kitty on Black Ink Crew, Tati said that she seen it go down between Ryan and Kitty because she was in the same hotel room. She was in the same room. So she seen it. She saw it with her own eyes. But yet on the last episode, she's telling us only reason why she know if Ryan or Miss Kitty slept together is because Miss Kitty told her because they she had a little small peen. And then we had Young Bay jumping in and basically calling Miss Kitty fake and she's scared and she don't want to be up here and all this other stuff. I was like, Tati and, you know, Miss Kitty be doing way. I mean, Tati team and um young baby doing way too much talking all that crap about young bay they won't be talk they won't talk about you know sky that way because they scared so they feel like they can pick on miss kitty and talk about her because she's not a fighter like that she don't get down like that and she's kind of princy and she got class and they ain't got what she got so it is what it is and if you check out you know tatty's instagram and you check out Young Bay Instagram, they ain't got no black friends. Bay got one black friend that she posted on Instagram like two years ago. And that's it. And only black people that are that are on Young Bay's Instagram is who? People that work for her. And Tati don't got no black friends on her Instagram. The last video I did on Tati this um a couple of months ago she had zero zip zero black friends but yet she want us to believe she she loved black men. And when she had a chance to dump or, you know, um, Teddy, you know, and they was having a party at Black Ink, and she got no Uber with a Spanish guy, so, okay, everybody, so, you guys tell me about this situation, they acting like they love black people so much, black people so cool, but they ain't got one black friend posted up on their Instagram, what's good with that situation, so, basically, Miss Kitty is saying that all the falsities, falsealities false 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 is just messy because miss kitty has spoken that she has never told any of them ladies that ryan had a small penis and why would she why would she tell them that why would she tell hot donna and her ass and hot tatty and ass why would she tell them what the business is so basically miss kitty is saying what the ladies are saying about her telling them that ryan has a teeny teeny winnie beady it a little short short 
black eyed pea is not true and that's all lies and a lot of people feel like C's put the ladies up to that and ryan is doing his damn thing he's single he's mingling and right now him and kitty might be on a little you know time but I think Ryan and Kitty are still seeing each other on a low low. On a low low. But we're going to see what's going to happen between Ryan and when it comes to C's. Because they're going to be facing off. And I don't know if they're facing off for the TV. Or they actually mended their wounds and they're actually friends again. You know, will C's be able to ever trust Ryan? And will Ryan ever do that to C's again still? You know, not still, but scoop up something that C's and threw away. <clears throat> you know, another man's trash is another man's treasure so it is what it is so donna donna and miss kitty i think they can actually work it out because donna still likes miss kitty you know what i mean she's been talking crap about miss kitty but she still likes miss kitty and she tries to hold it in sometimes but you know donna is you know sees punching bag and she's been a black eek punching bag for almost six years where they berate her, they mistreat her, they talk bad about her. They basically just make her look like a fool. And Donna is down with it because Donna, when she first started the show, she was very young and naive. And she looked up to Duchess, she looked up to C's. And this was her opportunity. And she was into tattooing, so she stood around. And you know what? She stood around and now she has become a celebrity. But Donna... You don't switch on your friends like that. And what's up with you and Tati? Are you and Tati doing this for a storyline? Donna, they just be, hey, Donna, we know, you know, you're bisexual. But now Tati is jumping on the bin wagon trying to be just like you, trying to have bodies in the shop, have some multiple sex partners in the shop. Tati's been out here doing her thing. She was out here with Teddy for a minute. Then she slept with somebody else at Black Ink because she was claiming him. And now she's trying to claim Donna. She's doing everything possible to stay relevant and stay on the show. You better you better continue to be a drug mule, baby, and keep it going because, girl, you are fake, phony, and fugazi. Like I said, you don't got one black friend on your Instagram, but yet you like black man, you like Teddy, you like the other black man you was dealing with, and, you know... And the way you treated Jada Blue, the way that you treated Toki, now the way that you treat and Tati, come on, miss me with all that. You don't got one black friend posted on your Instagram. That, that says a whole lot. You just in the culture just to get a dollar and get some fame. That's just going to be what it's going to be. And we got C's basically. He's feeling a certain type of way when it comes to Ryan. And he's still mad at Miss Kitty. And C's feel like he's been betrayed. He's been used. And nobody respects him. And he feels like Ryan him. Henry really did him in and he's going to show him what's up by coming to Chicago and basically taking some money out of his pocket because Ryan was supposed to be his little brother. He was mentoring Ryan and helping Ryan out and he feels betrayed. But I think C's has moved on from that because he's an OG. So therefore, you know, sometimes people make mistakes. It is what it is. Even though they saw him a video of Ryan and Miss Kitty chilling, have a good time and put and poking it in his face. But it is what it is with that situation. You go ahead, C's, do your thing. I was like, Lord have mercy, what's really going on? And so we got the ladies of Black Ink basically posing and doing their thing or whatever. But, you know, the way they did Miss Kitty is shady. I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. Like, for real, for real. The shadiness is real. You just going to dime out a girl. You just going to dog her out when you guys knew C's didn't want Miss Kitty. And he was cheating on her and he was doing her in. And, you know, she was quietly living that relationship with C's on a back burner and just waiting for him to come through. You guys all knew and therefore, you know, she you know, she made a little play on things. She got C's where's her and slept with his friend, which is not a good idea. But she did, and y'all going to hurt on her, and especially you, Tati, when now you're out here trying to be with Donna when she got a man too as well. Girl, you are fugazi cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. How much do they pay you to sell your body? What do your parents think about you portraying yourself on black ink? Mm, they must be proud of you, girl. Peeps, I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So please become a part of Notification Squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. And you guys tell me what you think about this situation with Miss Kitty and the young ladies from Black Ink Crew, Tati, Young Bay, and Donna. Do you think Miss Kitty really told them that Ryan Henry was a small, small, little, little 
teeny weeny little bit of shrivel shrivel short 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 thing do you think she actually told them that and also do you think donna and tati are actually having a romance going on and are they being intimately physically with each other and what do you think you know Alex, the vagina slayer, thinks about it, but he's still rolling around with Donna, so I think he's cool with it. Maybe he's getting a piece of the action, too. You guys tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples.